Hey everyone, today's news is about GTA 6. Two communities from Reddit and Discord got together to try to map GTA 6 with all the information we have so far. They want to do this before the game is released. It might seem crazy, but they are trying. They are analyzing several frames of the trailer, using multiple data from leaks, using a lot of complex techniques, they are even modeling some things to get the exact proportions. And they are reaching a really interesting result. They want to make the map as close as possible to what it will be when the game is released. And guys, if you think this is impossible, before the release of GTA 5, a bunch of people tried to do this and came very close to the original map. This map here, for example, is from 2011. And if you compare it with the original GTA 5 map that was released in 2013, they are very close. This other one, even more similar than the one from 2011, was made one month before the game's release. So yes, this mission to map the game is quite possible. So let's look at the trailer and what they already mapped, while I talk a little about how they are doing this. The trailer starts with the prison scene, and we see some buildings in the background. Buildings that are very important for this mission of mapping the game, because as they are very tall, you can see the same buildings in multiple scenes. And when you get the angle of a building in relation to the camera, you get a direction. And when you get the size of a building and the fog of the camera, you get a distance. When you get this data in different scenes that show the same buildings, you can cross-reference this data to obtain points on the map. One thing that also helped a lot in this mapping mission was that some leaks had on the screen the QHint XYZ coordinates of the scene. So if you already know the coordinates, you automatically have a point on the map. And just to be clear, the yellow things in the map correspond to the leaks. The red are speculatives, like building names are the in real life name, and the yellow names are how I you know it's in the game. Now that I've told you a little about how they are doing this, let's see some parts of the trailer along with their respective locations on the map. Guys, if you enjoyed this content, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment also say if you want to see more GTA 6 news here. In the prison scene, we see a bridge, a sewage treatment plant, the prison itself and its multiple watchtowers. And in the background we can see some buildings further into the city center. Here we see a image very close to the prison fence with few reference. Inside the prison, we can see one of the watchtowers and a small building. And here we jump to the beach scene with a very wide view of the city. Here we see these buildings, but we can't see much of the surroundings. In the flamingo scene, the location is very speculative. As you can see, there are no references like buildings or things like that. But if you look closely, there is a leak nearby, and it was possible to see a similar environment in it. So even if it's not the exact location, it should be close. Returning to the beach, we can't fail to mention the number of people and aerial vehicles in this scene. Do you think GTA 6 will really have this density or they just do it for the trailer? And what the hell this guy is doing? Anyways. In this scene we see a porch, two container ships, a bridge, and several buildings in the background. In this one we are on the street, we see what appears to be an arena, and these three buildings. In the lowrider scene, we see how beautiful the vehicle graphics of this game will be. And in terms of reference, we see a building under construction, and a building that seems to be inspired in the city view garage. 
Here we see also mapped these three islands, probably inspired by the Venetia Islands. We see another island too, one of them with a marina and a great view of the city. In this street scene, we can see several buildings, the Hotel Dixon, the famous Ocean View, Boardwalk. This scene makes me wonder, with all this lightning, do you think the PlayStation 5 will be able to run this without frame drops, or will need a pro version? Next scene, we see this absurd amount of vehicles, both flint and water. We have a sign of shadows of volumetric clouds here, since this island is in the shadows and the other parts of the map are not. We can see the two breeds. And there was also a leak near this location that we can see this bridge, which is why they can estimate this location on the map even if it's so far from the city. In this scene at the top of the building, we can see a lot of the city, and there is a debate that this woman is Lucia, but I don't know, what do you think? This amazing scene in showing the Vice City sign with the sun's rays is at the airport. We can see the tower, a radar, and some blurred buildings in the background. The scene with the people on the speedboat is between the islands. We can also see some buildings in the background giving reference. The next scene is the guys doing donuts at this crossing, and out of the scene had no tall buildings to use as reference. There was a lake nearby where you could see this crossing. The next scene is also at the same crossing. In the gas station scene, we have what appears to be a building under construction, some blurred buildings, but we have almost nothing in the surrounding area. As the trailer did not show much, and there were no leaks in this location either. The scene is right before this interchange with some buildings also identified in the background. The location of this scene is also very speculative, as you can see the yellow dots indicate that there were several leaks here, but it was some analysis with real life locations that suggest this map point. Another scene with a speculative location, with some buildings in the background, but unfortunately they don't appear in other scenes, which makes it impossible to cross-reference the data and obtain the exact location. But a map on Discord found similarities with real-life locations, speculating that is the approximate position of the scene. In the scene we were able to see some buildings, but what really served as a reference was a baseball stadium that was clearly seen in the leaks. In this scene we have almost nothing, so it's very speculative. But just like in the scene with Jason driving, there are some things in real life to get as reference, like this interstate. A mapper said that there is only one of that northbound in Miami, leading us to believe that the interstate seen here is the same from real life. There is also a connection between the scenes. In the scene with Jason driving, we see Wenning Sands writing on this shopping mall sign. And on this highway sign we also see it. Making us to believe that Wenning Sands will be a town in the game, at the same time giving reference to we speculate the locations of the scenes. In this one we have a lot of data. As you can see there were several leaks around. And from this specific one we can clearly see this tower and this sign, which gives us a certainty about this location. And these are the map the locations we have so far. As the community analyzes, four locations will appear. But I believe this map will grow in details faster when the second trailer comes out. What do you think? Do you believe the map will be similar to the final version, just like was with GTA 5? Leave in the comments what you think. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button.
If this video have a lot of likes, I will bring this type of GTA 6 news with more frequency. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out when the next videos come out. I see you in the next video. Trust? Trust.